Shalom, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that taught us his word. Uh, I just recently, you know, came across this, uh, this little article, with this little bit of information, you know, about you know, hate, hate rising, you know, in America, 2017, the year of hate. Uh, it's from the site, uh, Southern Poverty Law Center, uh, SPLCenter.org, and they compile a list of all you know the hate groups you know, throughout America, the black nationalists, you know, the KKK or whatever. But what's interesting is you know, Great Millstone has made that list. You know, not just Great Millstone, but you know. IUIC, you know, the UPK, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about, you know, this whole thing called, uh, black nationalists or, you know, Israelite nationalism, and how it's, I guess it's such a bad thing, but why, why, you know, why is it such a bad thing, you know, the black, na uh, just, yeah, this is from the Southern Poverty Law Center, under black nationalist. The black nationalist movement is a reaction to centuries of institutionalized white supremacy in America. Black nationalists believe the answer to white racism is to form separate institutions or even a separate nation. But, you know, that is the, <laughs> the answer to white racism, you know, is to go out and get your own thing, like, you know, Black Wall Street, you know, blacks were thriving. You know, not just Black Wall Street, there's a Black Wall Street in every major city during that era. And they were all thriving, you know. Uh, for black people, most forms of black nationalism are strongly anti-white, anti-Semitic. Some religious versions assert that black people are the biblical chosen people of God. Which is true, according to the scriptures. You know, they don't, they're trying to destroy us as a nation, you know, that's why they have such a problem with this. But yeah, I mean, if you read the list, you know, you got Great Millstone on there, you got the IUIC, which is funny because, if I'm not mistaken, recently they came out and said that they were going to shut down any camp, you know, that talked about the white man said anything bad about Edomites or whatever and they still made that list and they got the ISUPK ISUPK uh, that's generally on his camp or his school and he said the same thing you know, he was on the news and he said that you know he doesn't hate white people so why are these Israelite groups you know on this hate list because they don't want you to know, you know, who you are as a people. You know, when you come to this truth, you, know, you realize you're an Israelite. You actually have a history. You know, you have a future. And you have a power. You know, you're not just some uh, tree swinging monkey, you know, from Africa. You know, we have a rich history in the form of all things. And that type of knowledge was purposely, you know, hidden from us, you know. But all this information, you know, was brought out you know, in books, or whatever. So you gotta, you know, read, do your research, you know, because all that history it doesn't link up with the scriptures. Uh, but let's look at that, that word. Look up that word, nationalist. Uh, it's from the etymology online dictionary. One devoted to his nation. Uh, from national, in a now obsolete sense of patriot, patriotic. Yeah, patriot. So what's wrong with that? You know, what's wrong with being devoted to his nation? You know, once you wake up to this truth, you, know, you want to become devoted to your nation. You, know, you want to help wake up the elect, which is your job to do. So that we can have our nation back, you know. But for some people, that's considered a problem. 
why because that goes back to the scriptures this is a Psalms 83 I'll start at 2 for lo thy enemies make a tumult and they that hate thee have lifted up the head they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones they have said come let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be in no more in remembrance so that's why they have such a problem you know with the Israelites mainly they don't want us coming back to our power they don't want us coming back to our nation because when the Israelites are on top no everybody else is on the bottom let me read a little bit more of this this is a uh, black nationalist however should not be confused with the many non-racist african-american organizations that work for social justice and the elimination of institutional racism in America, which they haven't done, you know. They, you know, the Martin Luther King Jr., I Have a Dream, didn't work, you know. In addition, they should not be seen as equivalent to white supremacist groups, such as the KKK or the Nazis, in terms of their history of violence and terrorism, and unlikely white hate groups, they have made virtually no inroads into the mainstream political realm and have virtually no supporters among elected officials yeah, is, that we know of, you know. But they know they did have their little, they did have, you know, KKK members in the Senate, you know, and all that. So they did have political leaders. But the point is, you know, they don't want us coming back to our power, you know. But, you know, you're not going to stop this hate. And that's the reason why, you know, we're at the bottom. Because most blacks or Negroes, you know, they don't hate. You know, they love their oppressors, you know. They have it institutionalized. You know, they love, you know, their masters, so to speak. You know, home-worn slaves. They don't want their own thing. They don't want their own land. They don't want their own power. You know, they want to keep serving so-called white men. You know. And you're not going to eliminate, you know, institutional racism in America. You know, because so most high put that hatred, you know, in the in the nations. It says two nations were fighting in the womb. You know, Jacob and Esau. So you're not going to stop this hate. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything there's a season and, to, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. You know, we're going to skip down. A time to love and a time to hate. You know, a time of war and a time of peace. So right now we're in the time of hate and in the time of war. Man. These, these wars and rumors of wars, man, kind of quiet down a little bit, but it'll pick up again. You know, we're in the Middle East and in the time of hate. You know, you see all the jakes that are waking up. You know, to who they are, especially you know, Gray Millstone. Because we're the only ones out there teaching the word the way it should be taught. You know, so, like I said, you know, the these other camps, the IUIC, and, you know, UPK, they talk about, you know, they don't hate the white man, and you're not supposed to talk about the white man, but you're still on the white man's list, because you're still putting out that vibration of Israel, you know, they're going to be brought forth to the nobles, just like, you know, the men of Great Millstone, but the thing is, they're not going to have that hedge, you know, because they're out there teaching wayward doctrines, you know. Yeah, you know, the last scripture I want to get is Amos 3 and 1, because the Most High, he's a nationalist, you know, he, he's a separatist, he's a racist, you know, that's the main problem, you know, that's you know, the Most High, that's, that's the main thing that they hate, 
is at the most high. It's not this all loving, you know, power. Most high, he, he hates too. Um, but this is Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, and all the nations of the earth. You know, Most High is only dealing with Israel. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. You know, that's why we're catching the hell that we're catching. That's why we're under these curses. You know, because we're under punishment right now. It says, uh, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. So, yeah, man, we're not in, it's the main reason why they don't want us out there pushing that name. So it doesn't matter if you're pushing that vibe of Israel, you know, they're coming for you. you know, we're all on that red list, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, I came across this, you know, brothers was speaking about it. And yeah, I just wanted to do a little video on it. Black nationalism, you know, we're not black, you know, this isn't a black thing, we always say. The Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. They're Israelites as well. Side though, you know, black thing. But it is a nationalist thing, man. It's about our nation, you know, rebuilding our nation, starting with the elect, you know, because the elect is the only one that's going to get this knowledge. It says uh, one devoted to his nation, man. There's nothing wrong with that. And I was happy as hell to find out that I came from a real nation. Like as the psalm said, you know, they said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That's why they have such a problem with it. That the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. They don't want us to remember our name. The most highest name is Son Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. They don't want us to remember who we were. You know. But that exceedingly great army. You know, it's gonna it's gonna rise up. You know, we're gonna take the kingdom. Lord will the elect, 144,000. They're gonna take the kingdom. You know, the kingdom of Israel. And they're gonna rule it forever, and we're never gonna go down again. That's why they hate it. So we're never gonna go down again, man. We're ruling. You know, for all eternity. That's something that you know. Should make you feel good in this thing, man. But yeah, yeah, that's all I got for now. Shalom.